this little dial right here on the dash makes you really happy. It's got six different settings on it. The first one is just your stock setup, just your truck the way you hate it. All right, this is a 2000 7.3 liter F350 4x4 and on stock setting, it's a bit of a dog. I don't like the shift points on it and that's really the main reason I went for this. Second position is an idle up. So if you want to warm up the truck, we're in Canada here in the winter, want to warm it up a little bit, that'll bring you up to about 12, 1300 RPM. It's just a little quicker, saves you a little bit of fuel in the morning. Then this is where we get into fun. The first setting is 50 horsepower, 75 horsepower, 100 horsepower, then stand back 140 horsepower. Now, I've only really been playing at about 75 and 100 horsepower so far. So even at 75, 100 horsepower setting, what I'm really liking about this are the shift points. The stock setting for the transmission when it shifts is just all wrong. I, anybody who drives one of these trucks will know. And this cleans it up. Even at the 45 or 50 horsepower setting, the shift points are perfect. So let's go for a drive and show you. Now this is the stock setup in this truck. You know, I've got it on the road, putting my foot into it a little bit. It shifts out really early. And then once you get into a cruise with it, just really lags down. Now that's not a bad thing necessarily. You want that, it's gonna be running at a lower RPM. You're gonna get better fuel economy. But it's just a dog, especially if you're pulling something, it gets really annoying. That first position, that's gonna give you about 1200 RPM and help you warm up your truck in the winter. I know you guys down south, you don't really need that, but you know, they say that if you warm up your truck before you get on the highway, you're gonna get two to three miles per gallon better. All the real fun starts to happen as soon as you hit it over there to the first setting at 50 horsepower. 75, 100, same thing. The shift points just come alive. The truck is a totally different monster and I'm loving it. And you can tell just when you put your foot into it. And this truck didn't operate like this before. Now the word on the street is your best economy is going to come with the 75 or 100 horsepower setting on the TS Performance chip. I've noticed about an extra 100 kilometers per tank, which is an amazing thing. So for all this extra power and I'm saving gas, man, my day's just getting better and better. Now in the 100 horsepower setting, you're looking at even more fun factor with that little skinny pedal in front of you. If you want to merge with traffic, that baby's going to do it. It allows the revs to come up a little higher. Your shift points are way better. And already I'm at 100 and plus and I got to slow down a little bit because I don't want to get a ticket. We like to obey the law around here. When it comes to installing these performance chips in your truck, you really should install an EGT and a boost gauge as well. Your exhaust gas temperatures are going to go up. There's more fuel going through your injectors. Things get hotter and you got to keep track of that. Now, if I were hauling a big trailer all the time, I definitely have an EGT on this right now. And you know what, I'm gonna put one on in a little while, but God, I gotta get this thing in just to see how it works, right? Depending on where you live, you might have to deal with this nonsense that I deal with. It's e-testing. Your truck can't blow smoke. You can't in this area, if there's dark smoke coming out of that exhaust, white smoke, they don't like it. It's not gonna pass the e-test. So that's something to think about when you're using this style of chip. You might wanna back it off. You might want to do a little bit of testing when you're driving through the city because if it's blowing a lot of smoke out, you might want to dial it back a little bit. You don't want to upset any of those tree huggers out there. <laughs> she, she really wanted to light up though, like, you know, they, that actually had a lot of power. <laughs> so you can see, you know, you do that through the city, you got all that black smoke pouring out the back. Somebody's going to get upset with you. All right, here we go. Man, that thing is off the hook. It's off the rails. For under 300 bucks, you get your stock setting, you get your idle up, 50, 75, 100, and 140 horsepower. With a few little mods, you'll get that true 140 out of there and it's just gonna be a monster powerhouse. Now I'm running it at about 100, get that fuel economy that I want, get to merge into traffic just perfectly and I can tow all my toys with no problems at all. That's a TS Performance chip. 
You can easily find them online. Tell them Louie from Power Mod sent you. Make sure you come back. We're going to install some gauges and do a bunch of other little things to this truck. Thanks for watching. Get a possum.